My father did not want me to do music. He wanted me to be like him. So then he said, look, if you're gonna do music, make sure that you change society with it. That you reflect and tell people what it is, what it could be. He gave me the courage to bring that stylistic element to the world. When I first got into suits, we was a bunch of broke artists. I needed to go to thrift shops. It wasn't to be cool or nothing, it was because I couldn't afford to keep up with hip hop style. They were always oversized, and I'm a slim guy. That's when I started to really invest in local tailors. Uh, that was the beginning. When I first met Jadena, the first thing I saw was the red hair and his total look. I'm like, this guy is different. Something about him. To be bold, to be uh, your own person, it requires that you go left when everybody else goes right. One of the things that I love about Jadena is that cane, man. It's bold, you know? It's like, I'm here, boom. The cane is like one of his major trademarks. I probably have 20 canes or walking sticks. Every cane, every walking stick has a story. The first time that I ever saw what was a walking stick or a cane, it was really a staff, was with the chiefs that used to surround my father. In Nigeria, my father was a chief, my grandfather was a chief. They would meet in the living room. A lot of them had staffs, canes, sometimes a cowtail switch, but they would come with some sort of accessory. As the years progressed, my father became more of an icon in my life, more of a hero. And eventually when he passed, I took on the style that I saw him wear. And that was the suit and then the walking stick and the cane. That was the beginning coming into my really first and maybe only collection habit, which is collecting uh, canes and walking sticks. This walking stick features none other than Sherlock Holmes. I was on the way to the White House, and I had a performance at the White House for the 4th of July, and I was nervous, because during Classic Man, I always performed with a, a cane. So I ran to a shop nearby, and I got this bad boy and made it just in time to perform for the President and First Lady and their two wonderful daughters. All right, Joe. What we got here today, man? What people don't realize and recognize about local businesses, small businesses, uh, is that it's a 24 hour, seven days a week job. It's a real challenge because people say that they want small businesses, but a lot of times they don't want to support the small businesses. I go to the local barber and local tailor because they have to spend hours and hours to really work and hone in on their craft. They have to do that. I really love anybody who does that. Those are the people I partner with. Those are the people I support and, and invest in. He's making a lot of changes in a lot of people's life. And um, there's one thing to talk to him about, helping other people with this vision that he got. And he wants to make a big difference. He's going to give back. I told him, whatever you want to do, we're both going to walk that journey. Thank you, bro. Okay, I'm excited. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. All right, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I think that Jadena's style has like really affected the community because he gives back, you know? He's at the tailor, the thrift store, the barber, having guys like really take pride in their appearance again. What people don't understand about my style is it's not really an encouragement or a suggestion that you should wear suits. I hope that it's a symbol of finding something that's unique to you investing in yourself and your community. That's the essence of what I'm doing.